Authority never want to thank you this morning. Want to give you praise because you are God. Thank you for your awesome power. Thank you because you are God who knows that can do all things. Lord, let your name be glorified in the name of Jesus. I declare in the name of Jesus concerning everyone here that we shall order amen. I declare anointing of God that will make your life better. I command in the name of Jesus, let the anointing flow into your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let the anointing flow into your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I command today authoritatively, power of God that will single you out for promotion. If you can shout out, amen. Power of God that will announce you for promotion. Anywhere you are, let the power flow. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. As you have come to this service today, that thing that God will do in your life, I pray in the name of Jesus, the Lord will perfect it. Amen. Are you here with a need in your heart? If you are here with a need, say, I'm here with a need in my heart. So I pray by the order of God in the name of Jesus, the Lord will meet up with your need. Amen. Can you shout out amen? I said, the Lord will meet up with your need. Amen. By the power of the Holy Ghost, if the time you leave this place, Everything that silences everything in your life that is not making your life to be mentioned in the place of the or in the high places. I pray in the name of Jesus, the Lord will silence them. Amen. Are you shouting, Amen? I said the Lord will silence them. Amen. Power fighting you when you are about to get to that place where you're supposed to get to. I pray in the name of Jesus, the Lord will disgrace that power. Amen. Thank you, faithful God. In Jesus' name we we'll pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Glory. I want to say good morning to everyone. Good morning, sir. People watching online, I say that God bless you. How was your night? If your night was great, now everybody say my night was great. My night was great. Shout out that amen. amen. The Lord you have come to seek today, that same God we attend to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Isaiah chapter 14 verse 12. I'll read from that verse 12. Very important. There is a scripture in this place. I want us to note. The Lord said. Move by share Satan in January 1. Say, I want to destroy the work of Satan in their heart. In their lives. So I want you to take note of this word. Isaiah chapter 14 from verse 12 says. How a doubt falling from heaven. Can we read it together very loud and clear. One to go. I'm hearing the voice of one person. How are thou falling from heaven, uh -huh. O Lucifer, son of the morning? How are thou cut down to the ground? Which is within the nations? Let's read it again. One to go. How, How are thou falling, O Lucifer, o Lucifer son, of the morning. son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nation? Verse 13. Studio verse 13. For thou art said in the heart, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the star of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. Uh -huh. I will ascend above the height of the cloud. I will be like the most high God. Verse 15 says, Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the side of the pit. I pray in the name of Jesus, everyone that you have been tormented by the works of Satan, I command in the name of Jesus, let the right of your life be destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Take note of this, it says, there is going to take his dwelling in the north. Do you see that? Yes, when you go to the book of Jeremiah, I said something. The Bible says, and there is another evil I've seen in the north. Evil in the north, in the Bible. In the north, in the north, in the north, in the north. And Satan also said, he wants to sit in the north. He has resided in the north already. So, God is to save his people from the north. Are you hearing me? So, I pray for you today. By the fire of God, everyone that your MLB is shouting, what? Everyone.
works of the wickedness, the right of the wickedness, tormenting any department of your life, that area that devil has occupied your life, oh yeah, let God take over. Amen. I said, let God take over. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Exodus chapter 34, verse 10. The Lord said he wants to enter into covenant with them. NLT. Exodus chapter 34, verse 10 says, The Lord replied, NLT, Listen, I am making a covenant with you in the presence of all your people. Can I hear you shout out, amen? Amen. So the Lord replied, listen, I am making a covenant with you in the presence of all your people. I will perform miracles that I have never been performed anywhere in all the earth or in any nation. And all the people around you will see the power of the Lord the awesome power I will display for you. The new covenant that will suddenly erupt from your life. The people will begin to shout, how oh, has it happened? I pray in the name of Jesus, enter into that season of covenant. Can somebody rather say, I enter into my season of a new covenant. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shout louder. Amen. Amen. Verse 11 of that scripture says, but listen carefully to everything I command you today. Verse 11 of Exodus chapter 34. Say, but listen carefully to everything I commanded you today. That I will go ahead of you. And drive out the Harmonites. Canaanites, the owner of the land. <laughs> Evitites, Parasite, Etite, and Jebusite. All these people are the owner of the land. A woman coming from a, is in Biama yesterday. A particular strange woman took a marital seat. I hear this. The Lord is sending me to that woman and everyone that cares to say amen to this. The owner of that place that belongs, that you belong. That is tormenting you. Either the house that you are living, that is tormenting you. Either the place that your prisoner reside, the owner of that place that is tormenting you, we look for a way and set that place for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord said to Israelite, What are we used to repay them for all their years of slavery is to give them five nations? For how many years? You have been serving as a slave over the years. But there is a place meant for you. Your husband rubbish you. There is a woman here. Your husband rubbish you as if you are nothing. But the Lord is saying, he's going to call you and say, I am sorry. What do you want? I pray in the name of Jesus. If God is the one that is saying this word, the Lord will confirm it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Say, so, but listen carefully. But da, da. So the commandment I will command you today that God will command you. Say, I will go ahead of you. Anywhere you find yourself, the Lord will go ahead of you. Amen. Oh my God. I said, God will go ahead of you. Amen. So the north of your area, God will go ahead of you. Amen. So the east of your area, God will go ahead of you. Amen. So the west of your life, God will go ahead of you. Amen. So the south of your life, God will go ahead of you. Amen. Can I hear you declare, say, my God will go ahead of me. Shout louder, amen. amen. Sit down. Last week we started a topic which I tied to protesting against evil protesters. Do you know that evil protesters react negatively against your life? Today is a part two. They speak the language of you must not when you are about to rise. They issue negative degrees. And if you are not filled with the Holy Spirit or Holy Ghost, they will make their desire to be established over you. There's a reason you will see some people that are doing well in a particular office. They will just conclude that I want to leave this office. I don't want to work in this office again. Because of what? The power of evil protesters said to them, when you get to office tomorrow, resign. There's a reason. You see some people, they will pack out of the marriage and say, I'm tired of this marriage because of what evil protesters have been saying, 
you must not marry. They can come from your family, from your husband's family, from your environment and anywhere you find yourself. I want everybody to be serious now. This is the reason. A lot of people around you, they'll be giving back to children, but you will not have anything to show. Because even protects us, say, your tummy, your womb must be barren. Some people, the Lord have asked them to remain in the ministry because of what is going to do in their life to protect their life. But evil protects them will tell them, you must leave and they will find a way to start looking for fault in the life of the set man. Some people will no longer find peace in their marriage anymore. This is easy that you find a lot of people divorced. When you look at the numbers of the people, the percentage or the ratio of the people that are divorced now, they are Christian. They use Bible to divorce. They use the word they heard in church yesterday to divorce. They use the prayer they pray to divorce. They use everything in the name of Jesus. If you ever see me again, you will kill me. Because of what? He will protect us, say, you must not marry. Hear this. As beautiful as a beautiful woman could look, could look at, you know what? The eyes of the husband will still go to a strange woman. Because of what? He will protect her as make the face of that woman not to look so beautiful as it used to be. And begin to tell the husband, your wife is no longer fine. Go and spend money on a public ashewo aristo. War. Prostitute. And the husband begin to invest money on the prostitute. And the people in the house begin to struggle. Because of what? There is a power of evil protects her somewhere. And if some women want to protect they protest against their husband. They don't protest against the evil protester. It is not the will of the one that say, I want to marry you. Start looking elsewhere and abandon you. Until when you protest against the mind that is in that husband now, the power dealing with that husband will not stop. But today, every work of evil protester will come to nothing. Are you his house in him? Something they're supposed to say to Amike Blade, they will escalate it. Come and take your daughter, they will call your mother. Come and take your daughter, I'm no longer interested. Super family, super people, idiot and the rest. And your mind is, my marriage will be the best on the head. Or in the head. And by the time you get to know, you just discover that your marriage is passing through chaos. But I pray for you today. Any evil protester gang up against your marriage. To some, it will be settled today. Tomorrow, another problem. Next, tomorrow, another problem. I want to tell that person that if you don't pray very well, you will say bye-bye to marriage forever. I pray in the name of Jesus, by the order of God. Every power of evil protesters against your marriage. Let God Almighty destroy it in the name of Jesus Christ. All of these things are happening because the evil protesters have announced their downfall with the language of you must not be bigger than this. You must not marry. You must not be a joyous mother. You must not sing a new song. You must not succeed in your chosen career. You must not be lifted. You must not be celebrated. No one must tread in this place. No business must succeed in this place. Nobody must come and celebrate with you. Take note of this. I've shared this before. A particular lady who woke up, she woke up and come and said, Daddy, she's not a member, but a daughter in the law. Daddy, I saw some people saw poo at the entrance of my shop. And the Lord said to her, Why? How? When? And the Lord said to me, son, they used 130 something thousand era to produce that poopoo. They used a lot of things. The person who wanted the downfall of that person, evil protester in that business, pay 130 something thousand. That you must sow the seed of the likes. Thank God she obeyed. And you know what? Instead of a business to downfall, the business that have not been working, you know what happened? You go there together, right? You know what's happened? The business start progressing. 
The enemy that did that will begin to say, how come? People will say, how come? Ah, concerning you, they will say, how come? That the business they have been selling must fall. How come is this business rising? They will say, how come? Shout out the amen. This one is not one day plan. The enemy of our soul have announced into the realm of the spirit to announce a downfall. Why? They must protect. They must react. Because of what? She has a prophet. She started a business, a flourishing business with two freezer. Working with somebody somewhere in Ogba. And every time she see me, daddy, ah, she will pack the fish I like most. What is that fish? Titus. She'll pack it. And I said, what you see this woman you are working for doing, the Lord will establish bigger one to you. She will say amen. She will just go. Anytime she see me, daddy, take it. Anytime. And one day, her deliverance was so much. One of our problems was her mother. Her mother was speaking to her. I pray for you. Anyone under the hold of birth, and you didn't know, the Lord will deliver you. Are you shouting amen or you are still joking? I said the Lord will deliver you. Thank God God delivered from my mother. And you know another thing that happened? In that place in their house where she was selling with two freezer. The Lord asked me to go there. I went there. I said God said he's giving you a shop. She got a shop. And she went there with several freezers. Another time I went there. Maybe a year after or there about I don't know again. The Lord said, I'm giving a room. Say that the room. How will it be? Me, room. I said, because you doubt God. God said he's giving you mechanical generator to prepare the two. I hear these the two came together. Say number one. Another time the beckon on me, she never tired of requesting on God. Say, Daddy, it has happened. I said, I'm coming to dedicate it. As I go there, the Lord said to me, she's going to buy a house on this street where she will have a shop and have a bigger co room and another house. We went there, right? We dedicate the place. I pray for you today. Every word of prophecy that has come to pass, that has not come to pass in your life, that is being announced into your life, I command the name of Jesus, it shall come to pass. Amen. She is a wise woman. When she knew that all this thing are happening, she said, Daddy, do you have an account in Echo Bank? I said, I didn't have. She said, Daddy, I want to open an account. I will be paying salary there every month. God will not just do something until you do what other people don't do. Are you hearing me? Say wisdom. Shout it again. Say wisdom. For evil protesters to stop oppression in your life, you must be wise. Instead of blessing your pastor, you talk down on your pastor. Look at the people outside. They know how to beckon, how to secretly seek and get. The first time she wants to travel, I say, I see you traveling. Say that the traveling care. I say, I see it. And the first time she made attempt, they gave to her. UK. Other time. Germany. Other time. She started traveling with her children, selling frozen foods that a lot of people think that is not lucrative. Build two houses with that. That's your business. Can you look at the direction of your business now? Or the one you want to do. Look at that direction. That your business that is as if nothing good is coming from there. I command the name of Jesus with this oil. Under this anointing. Something great will start coming on that business in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I said something great will start coming on that business in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Can you declare say my business? Amen. Hear the word of God. Reject evil protesters. Shout out the Amen. Today is for you to protest against her. For you to be in a business place and a particular somebody closer to you, pointing to you, 
harassing you and you are looking and they are, they are saying, you are giving meaning to nonsense. All you need to do is to do one evening walk. What did I say? Evening walk. Bible said those who know their gods I do exploit. But you must make sure that you are working with God in the righteousness. I soak my body with the blood of Jesus. I cover my body with the blood of Jesus. As I'm walking these streets, let every power demanding for the downfall of my business fall. Just walk. Take a walk. What are you doing? Everybody will see you and see somebody you are taking a walk. But you are actually doing prayer. Are you seeing it? Instead of, instead of saying, don't open your mouth, open your mind. But you are not saying it. With boldness, you carry sword. Put your toothpaste. It's okay, by shoulder pad. You just walk down. Are you listening to me? Eh? Because you know your God. But if you believe to your God or your prophet, you cannot prosper in it. Say, so believe your God. Okay? Believe your prophet. You shall be what? Prosperity is attached. Flourishing is attached. So when they see you again, they will close their eyes. I don't want this one. I don't want to see this one today. They will look at you as a bad market. To everyone under the sound of God to me, with the white mantle that I see flowing everywhere, I command in the name of Jesus, and this mantle touches you. Anyone that have tagged you to protest against you, when they see you, they will run away from you. Shout out a amen. To protest is to show disapproval over a certain thing. Do you know that evil protesters show disapproval over any good things? When they see you progressing, they will command other people like them to start speaking against you. When they see you progressing, they will get their mates talking together. I said something last time. I said, except you are not protesting against somebody or against something. That is genuine. They will look at you. The business is broken. Now only them sabi do am. Is he only him? Is he only her? Why is he that he's the only person here? Hello? God didn't create two persons like you. Are you hearing me? And your blessing must not go to another person. No matter what you are doing, the hand of God must be upon it. Sometimes the devil wants to raise the ugly head. What do you do? Is to come and keep quiet. You don't fear about it. Some people, when they see it happening, they begin to speak in tongues in fear. Speak in tongues in advance. When they see bad dream, Father, in the name of Jesus, that is the only time they will pray. Oh, Lua, hoya, hoya, hoya. Tomorrow, if they don't see bad dream, they will not pray. And when they see good dream, they will not pray. When you see good dream, you pray to call it forth. When you see bad dream, you pray to cancel it. Then, let's see how the evil protester will come. Hear this. Evil protester understand the best way to protest in the realm of the spirit. To affect everybody you depend on. There is the reason we say, Oh, Olu promised to give me money, but the money will not come. Oh, Amaka promised me to give me a house. The house will not come. Why? Because they, there is a protest against you. My husband said he wants to buy me a car. My wife said he wants to buy me a car. It will never come. Because of what? There is evil protest against you. If anybody wants to protest against anything, they will carry a placard, right? They go to the higher authority and begin to protest. That does not mean that the higher authority that says we attend to it, we attend to it. But when you go to the highest, the only you have higher authority on earth, but you have highest authority in the heaven. Higher is for the head, highest is for the heaven. I pray for you today. The highest authority we attend to you in Jesus' name. After service on Wednesday, a particular woman came to me and said, Daddy, you know I talk about people that 
their vehicles has been uh, knocked down for years. He didn't mention a particular oil rig that I went to pray for. Yes, I mentioned it last on Wednesday. One oil rig I went to pray for. This man has like five oil well. The name of that company is Lone Star. It's oil servicing company. But one of the rig they have purchased for almost four years. Expert trade are receiving money every year, every day, every month. But yet it was not working. A lot of pastors have been there. And one of my pastor friends come and say, Pastor, a prophet. Prophet, please, there is a place I want us to go together in Port Agot. And he went there. Said, they read this, the rig has not been working. And the Lord said to me, look up. And I look up. I saw a woman. Very haggard. And I said, what are you doing there? Come down. As he was coming in the realm of the spirit, I said, die. And she disappeared. And I called the person that took, a pastor that called my pastor friend. I said, call the white men to come and start working on this. Second day, they start working. What could not work for four years start working? I pray for you today. If God is still the one that do that work, not me, Adelike. Everything that is dead in your life, there is supposed to be alive in your life. The Lord will bring it alive in the name of Jesus Christ. A woman said, after the service on Wednesday, said, Daddy, what you said was true. I used to dream and I will see people at night. She used to do air. She's an air stylist. I will see the lights of my office on and people working in my office. I will see my landlady grinding pepper with grinding pepper in the front. Meaning that that is what is called ongoing protesting demonic work in that place. And the business cannot grow. Because of what? They have traded in your office at night. There is no how you can succeed in the morning. I pray for her. Take note of this. This is part of the money transaction I told you last week. I don't know it's here today. There is the money transaction in your house. The money transaction in your marriage. The money transaction in your business. The money transaction in your environment. The money transaction where you are selling. I command in the name of Jesus, all this evil transaction disappear. Are you shouting amen? I said disappear. I said disappear. I want everyone to rule. Say every demonic transaction in the place of my business. So what are you waiting for? Hear the word of God. In the name of Jesus. Oh yeah, receive fire. Receive fire. Receive fire. Receive fire. Receive fire. Receive fire. Shout it. Receive fire. Shout it. Receive fire. Receive fire. Receive fire. Receive fire. Anywhere you are, Rua. Aha. 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 The money transaction receive fire in your house. Receive fire. Hosanna your document. Receive fire. Hosanna your destiny. Receive fire. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. I want you to run as you stand up. Say the money transaction. The money transaction. I want to hear that voice now. Say the money transaction. Can you shout it very loud and clear? Concerning my business. So what are you waiting for? Enough is enough. In the name of Jesus. Oh yeah, receive fire. 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 Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Shout it! Shout it! Shout it! In the name of Jesus!
Jesus. Demonic transaction in your environment. I command all the machines. Receive fire. Receive fire. Aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want you to know if that woman refused to pray, there is no how that business will succeed. The only way out is prayer. James chapter 5, verse 16 says, The effectual fervent prayer of the righteous man availeth not. Effectual power, prayer of a righteous man, not a sinner. Then, how do you justify a sinner from non sinner? The part B of that scripture says, The effectual fervent prayer, fervent prayer. The word effectual, that is more effective. The effective power in prayer of righteous man availeth not. Can you go to NLT? Let's read from there. Hear this. Your marriage is not just passing through that ugly situation. It is the work of the evil protector. They are called soul hunters. They search for your soul. They search for your spirit. Let's look at this scripture now. He said the Endless prayer of a righteous person has great power and produce wonderful results. Take note of that one. Can we read it again together? Very loud, sound and clear. One to go. The endless prayer uh -huh, has great power and produces wonderful results. Your prayer here today will produce wonderful results. Your children want to make you happy. At all costs, but the problem is the evil protester that has corrupted their mind. Ezekiel chapter 13 verse 18, he says, and say, thus here the Lord God, woe to the women that so pillow, to all harm all anything, and make kerchiefs Upon the head of every statue to hunt soul. To hunt what? Soul. They sew pillow. They make handkerchief. They put it upon the stature of people and they hunt soul. And Ezekiel, NLT say, say, verse 18 say, this is what the sovereign law say. What sorrow await you women who are ensnaring the soul of my people? Young and old alike. They are treating both the young and old alike. You tie magic charm on their wrists and furnish them with magic veils. Do you think you can trap others without bringing destruction on yourself? I pray for you. Anyone that has tie you down one way or the other, let the destruction of God come over them as God is losing you in the name of Jesus Christ. Don't forget that Saul was a soul hunter to David. First Samuel chapter 24, verse 10 to 15. He seek for the life of David to kill him. Because of what? The Lord gave him a throne. There are lots of people that just hate you because you are driving that jeep. They hate you because you are looking so beautiful. Even if you didn't eat at night, they don't know. Some people didn't even know, maybe in Agari you drank yesterday night. That is not what you want to do, but because of what you are. And you see, come on, you look so elegant. You look so caucastic. You look so wonderful. And you look so shiny, black and shiny. You look so radiant. And by the time they see you, say, now they chop out the money waiting for this place. The Lord will shut their mouth. <laughs> Micah chapter 7 verse 2 says, They all lie in wait for blood. They hunt every man his brother with a net. Psalm 59 verse 1 and 2 says, Deliver me from my enemy. Oh my God. We are going to read Psalm 59 verse 1 and 2. This scripture, you want to converse it? I want you to converse it. We are going to pray. I want to tell you the meaning of this thing. Who are these people? What are their works? And how can we deal with them? Psalm 59 verse 1 and 2. Says, I want everyone to get there. Who is there in the studio to help us out? Can we read it together? I want to go. But hold on, hold on. You have to read it very loud, sad and clear. Is that okay? This is not just the word. This is a deliverance prayer. 
Read it together. I want to go. Deliver me from my enemy. Oh my God. Defend me from uh -huh, them that rise up against me. Go ahead. Deliver me from works of iniquity. And save me from bloodly men. Uh -huh. For lo, they lie in wait for my soul. The mighty are gathered against me. Not for my transgression. Not for my sin. Oh Lord. Go ahead. Very fast to you please. They run and prepare themselves. Without my fault. Awake to help me. And behold. Verse 5. Says. Thou therefore. O Lord God of us. The God of Israel. I will to visit all the healthy. Be not merciful to any wicked transgression. Sailor, say, consider it. Go ahead. They return at him. They make a noise like a door. And go around about the city. Verse 7. Behold, they patch all with their mouth, sword and in their lips. For who say they dot here? But thou, O Lord, shall laugh at them. Thou shalt have all the earthy in the rich. I pray. So whosoever that stand to wage war against you, the Lord will laugh at them. Psalm 124 verse 7 says, Our soul is escaped. As a bird. Out of the snare of the fowler. The snare is broken. And we are escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord. I made the declaration according to the book of Psalm 14 verse 14 that say, let them be ashamed and confounded together that seek after my soul to destroy it. Let them be driving backward and put to shame that wish me evil. Everyone that stands to hurt your soul or that wish you evil. That say, when will the song of sorrow come over this world? When will this one time expire? When are we going to come and rejoice over the downfall? When are we going to protest over that person, over that man, over that woman? I pray in the name of Jesus, let their right over your life by fire. Amen. Anyone under the bondage of evil protester that you have been fighting it difficult to rise in the journey of life, I command in the name of Jesus, oh yeah, let God deliver you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. By covenant of creation. I reverse every judgment of evil protester against your life. Let God reverse it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Psalm 89 verse 40 to 44 says, Thou hast broken down all his edges. Thou hast brought his stronghold to room. All that pass by the way spoil him. He is a reproach to his neighbors. Thou hast set up the right hand of his adversaries. That means that his adversary is bringing against him. Thou hast made all his enemies to rejoice. Thou hast also turned the edge of his sword and hast not made him to stand in the battle. Thou hast made his glory to cease and cast the throne down to the ground. By the time evil protester finish with any man, this will be their story. By praying the name of Judas, if that had been your story, let God deliver you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the book of Numbers, Chapter 25. After everything that Balaam did to cause the Israelites and was not working, Balak said, Do me more. He said, No way. I can't do more. I can never do more anymore, sir. And you know what he said? The only thing I can do is to advise you. He said, Send strange women into their midst. When they are doing sacrifice, let strange women come. Let the boys start sleeping with strange women. See, the Lord who formed them is the one that will cause them. Say, these people, they are causeless. The only one that can cause them is the one that creates. Say, me, I cannot cause. No man can, call his, can cause Israel up to now. Say, but send strange ladies from the strange land. Let them begin to sleep with them. Then the God will cause them. And when that happened, the God was angry. God called Moses. He said, oh yeah, let there be sword. 
A lot of people die for that act. People that no man can cause, but the evil protesters do what? Invade them with strange ladies. If your eyes used to go to strange ladies, stop it. Before the destruction of the heavens. There are some people, the Lord will give them direction, their mind will go to another direction. All in the name of, I too sabi, I know it too much. All in the name of, I understand what I'm doing. But I pray today, every stranger in your body, every stranger that resides with you, tormenting every object of your life, tormenting every department of your life, I command in the name of Jesus, let God destroy their eyes in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yeah, there is something don't just happen in life. Something is responsible for it. Are you hearing me? A force that is beyond what you think is the one gaining right over you. Zechariah chapter 3 from verse 1 to 6. Bible says, and he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the angel of the Lord. And Satan standing at the right hand to resist him. Now, the Satan didn't stand at the right hand of Zechariah, the Joshua, the high priest. He stood at the right hand of the angel. How will you know that? Go to NLT. You will discover that. Verse 2 says, And the Lord said unto Satan, The Lord rebuked thee, O Satan. Even the Lord that has chosen Jerusalem rebuked thee. Is not this a brand plucked out of the fire? Now Joshua was clothed with filthy garment. Now, there is one thing for somebody to be clothed with filthy garment and you don't even know. You see, put on Pope Clotho. Pope, eh, can you feel that Pope, Pope, eh, is he cap? And the staff was doing the Pope work. But hear this. The hand that is greater than him has seized the new garment. They protest against him. And they say, how can this man stand in the office of the priesthood? He was not careful. He was a non talent pastor. And the pit of evil prevailed by his life. Evil protesters will love to leave you with the life of nothing in you anymore. They will be the one leading you to where you think you will get solution and the one dealing with you with the information they got from you. If a friend is always telling you, let go to that church. If that church is not working, let go to another church. If that church is not working, let go to another church. Suspect that friend. That is your evil protester. Are you hearing me? They will take you to a place. That church oh, is not working. Oh yeah, another church. That church is not working. Oh yeah, another church. That same woman, that same place, suspect her. That same man, that same place, suspect him. That is the one reacting negatively over your destiny. I'll be very close. It's the one that will create wound in your body. It's the one that will be looking for water to heal your wound. You can hear my pastor testify sometimes ago. I think, is it from the workforce or somewhere? He testified. Says that somebody took the mother somewhere and they did some certain thing. When God revealed it to me, he started getting the understanding. I said, that woman happened to be the one that hates your mother and the children, including you. But the woman presents herself as the one helping your mother how to find a particular solution. Say from you to everyone that have been given back to after you, you are in the danger of that thing that your mother put you into. The mother happened to be a faithful follower of Christ. But you know the thing, the mother was unable to break the children out of the problem she kept them. Are you seeing? Because of what? A particular evil protester who used the destiny of all our children. Why would I use the destiny of another children? They'll be the one leading you to a place. And they'll be the one that will put you in trouble. They love your story to be like that of Isaiah chapter 1 verse 6. Isaiah 1 6 says, You are battered from head to foot. Covered with bruises, wet and infected wound, without any suiting ultimates or bandage. And hear this: you have been keeping quiet. Now is the time to heart. You might not have what it takes to heart, but your God have it for you. Exodus chapter fifteen verse three says, "The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is His name." What the Lord said to me concerning this, what He say? He say, "Hear this. He say, I have long." 
time holding. Isaiah 42, verse 14 to 15. I'm long time holding my peace. I'll be silenced. I will refrain myself. Now will I cry like a traveling woman. I will destroy and devour at once. Verse 15 says, I will make waste mountain and hills and dry up all their herbs and I will make the river island and I will dry up the pool. Do you know whenever the evil protester is working against any person, I want to give you 30 things or there about. Number one, they ridicule such life to nothing and make life impossible for them in as much that people that know them originally we look at them and begin to say, I didn't think this is the person anymore. Somebody reached out to me. I went to pray for that brother in Lekki. He happened to be the candidate of HIV AIDS. And the sister says, she lives on this street. The sister lives on this street. She said to me, says, sir, that is the person I want to marry. The family said, it's not possible. This guy is an HIV patient. Say that, mom, that is the person I want to marry. And she cried to God here. And the Lord said, after one month, God said, go and pray for that brother. I went with some of my children in the Lord. I don't know. Okay. I went with Pastor Emmanuel and I think one or two persons. And before I got there, I was telling them what God would do. When we got there, he was actually watching TV. Before I got there, he has been calling me pastor. Look at my old picture. Look at me now. We are not the same. People started asking me from me, where is this also person? When they come to the house and I begin to answer them, this is me. They say, no, this is not you. They'll be asking me from me. Have you seen that happening before? Immediately we got there. The Lord said, pray on the water. Only water. Only Jesus can save. Only Jesus can save. Hallelujah. And the Lord said, please get something ready for him to eat immediately. And when you get that ready, you know what is going to happen? He will sleep immediately. And we quickly give him something to eat. And I said, he's going to sleep for the whole two days. Immediately, he drank the water. It was as if they gave him a, what is it called now? Sleeping pills. It does up. Does up. First day, second day, he was breathing. He was not a dead man. But by the time this man lifted up himself from the bed, and the Lord said, immediately wake up, go and do the test again. They could not find the HIV. The evil protester said, they can stop the life. But hear this. God said the life will still exist. But the one star story, the evil protester left him. They went to the fiancé. Not with HIV now. With hunger. He tried to persuade the lady this anger is too much. Your anger is too much. The brother said I cannot marry to an anger person. Somebody that said that even in your pain, I will marry you. But the power still protests against that sister with the character in her. And she loses that man. I pray for you today. Every works of evil protester in your life. I command, let the evil destroy it in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for that sister and God said to her from anger. I want you to know, if you have anything in you, the devil can use it against you. He will never use anything against you than what you have around you. Number two, they make you not to believe in your vision anymore. When you are growing up, you have seen something about yourself. When you are growing up, you have seen some great value about you. But when evil protesters are involved in your matter, or your matter, you will forget about your vision. Number three, that thing that you see before you start will present it to you as impossible. No good news, no testimony, no acceleration, no means of any livelihood, no compensation for any good thing you do for any man. Man that should be of help to you will be the one organizing enemy against you. Number 10, a man of hope will now turn to the object of reproach. Number 11, loaded with professor brain but living the life of a beggar. 
living apologetic lifestyle. Succeed in a chosen career, but not successful in it. This is what I want to do. You succeed. They know you, but you are not successful. I want to be, a lot of people say, I want to be a professor. They will succeed to be a professor, but they will not be a successful professor. Some years back, a professor of a Greek in uni, uni, UI, UI was brought to God here by a particular woman. The man was depressed because of what the wife turned the children against him and is even afraid of returning to the house. Professor of a Greek that became a professor at age 26. 26 or 36, thereabouts. Do you know what it means? Very brilliant. For somebody to become a professor at 26 or even 36, very what? Brilliant. But if we go to a drinking parlor, he will drink, he will leave the vehicle, car, he will leave the car key somewhere and begin to trek in Ibadan city, city of Ibadan. And somebody brought. He was not mentally balanced and he was not a madman. And when he came, the Lord mentioned two things. As a matter of fact, one of the trendiest church in Lagos State, his son, God gave that church to his son. As at the time, the man came. He mentioned the name of the son, mentioned the name of the church, I said, aha, say, but I cannot go to them. My sister said I should come to you. And God delivered that man. And I said, sir, after the prayer you have been delivered, was I put him under spiritual therapy. And I said, now travel out of Nigeria for two months. By the time you return, he's held you. We have not heard from him for a long time now. But by the time he returned, he was an healthy man. Before I even go, he gained his balance. And hear this, by the time he returned home, the white park. Because of what? Is now healthy in mind. I pray for you today. Every evil protester against your life, I command in the name of Jesus. Let God disgrace them in the name of Jesus Christ. This professor was living apologetic life. He was a successful man, but he didn't succeed in it. Full of energy, but no opportunity to display what you carry. You are physically powerful, but spiritually powerless. Number 16, facing with almost their syndrome without getting there. Number 17, full of hope without achieving the goal in the hand. The life will be exposed to satanic sanction at all levels. Anytime you want to grow, something will just cut you up. Number 19, limitation at all levels. There will be restriction at all quarters. Satanic covering and coverage. 22. Wrong prophecy will be the order of the day. Number 23. Frustration. Number 24. Postponement of good things. Number 25. Obstacle at every quarter. 26. Successful key will be withdrawn from you. When evil protects are dealing with you. Everyone around you, we have seen the error in you. And you'll be the last person to notice after you have been disgraced. 28. You'll be forgotten when you should be remembered and remember when it is no longer relevant. Do you understand that? When the person is supposed to remember, will be forgotten. When it's no longer relevant, they will say, ah, 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 Kule one be, can go and look for Kule, but it's no longer relevant. Every dose of help will be shot against you. Every protester will minister to the mind of your helper to start seeing you as their enemy. No one will mention you for good at all level. Your business will not do well, no matter your effort. Evil marks will, evil marks will market your product. All evil marketers will market your product only in the realm of the spirit. And in the realm of the physical, nothing will happen. Stand up. I want everyone to pray to this prayer. But thank God for the future we have in God. That is why we can pray. That's why we can pray. Isaiah chapter 42 verse 16 says, I will bring the blind by a way that they know not. 
I will lead them in a path they have not known. I will make darkness lie before them and crooked things straight. Those things will I do unto them and I will not forsake them. The Lord is ready to deliver a lot of people from the mouth that is dealing with them. From the mouth of you, of the mouth you can assess tongues. From your mouth you can assess teeth. From your mouth you can assess lips. From your mouth you can assess saliva. Do you know all these things also can use in favor or can use against? It's very important. Bible says in the book of James chapter 3 verse 10 that all these things come from the same mouth. Are you ready to pray now? Lift up yourself. Say power of evil protesters. You are not shouting now. Say power of evil protesters. Walking against my person. So what are you waiting for? Hear the word of God. In the name of Jesus. As I'm clapping my hands. Oh yeah, receive fire. 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 Let the fire of God come over there in the name of Jesus. Aha. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Aha. 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 Oh yeah. Oh yeah. In the name of Jesus. You better pray very well. You know that thing that is working against your business. You know that thing that is working against your personal life. Know that thing that is working against your life. Let the power of the evil protester receive fire in the name of Jesus. Aha. In Jesus' name we pray. I want that man to shout louder, amen. When I say this, I pray in the name of Jesus, the woman can join. That right of evil protest against your life. Let God destroy it in the name of Jesus. Now declare. Say every right of evil protesters. Against my business, against my life, against my person. Say, what are you waiting for? Hear the word of God in the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah, destroy by fire. Destroy by fire. Destroy by Shout it, shout it, shout it, shout it. Uh -huh. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Let all this fight alright. Uh -huh. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You know that when you are about to get something, something will just block it. They will tell you we are sorry, we cannot give again. All your hope is always being dashed out. You see yourself like you are climbing. Each time you climb, something will fall you down. Please come forward. Your marriage, you are having issue concerning your marriage. It's as if your marriage will soon break. You have no rest concerning your marriage. It's as if it's been break. There's the work of evil protesters against it. There's a particular side of your, of your tummy that is always paining you. You have taken all manners of drugs. You pray all manners of prayer, but it's not working. You are here after that pastor has laid hands on you. You discover that something strange entered into your body. Since that time, it has been troubling your life. Please, join them. You have tried to establish business, but year after year, nothing is working. And you have been saying, what is happening? You don't know what is behind it. Please join them. The Lord wants to deliver you. That is the work of evil protesters. I want you to lift up your voice very loud and clear. Say, every works of evil protesters... Can you lift up your hands and shout it very loud? Say every works of evil protesters. Reacting against my person. Say what are you waiting for? As I'm clapping my hands. 
in the name of Jesus. Oh yeah, lose your battle. Lose your battle. Uh -huh. Shout it, shout it, shout it in the name of Jesus. You are not clapping, you are not shouting, you are not shouting. Aha. Uh -huh. You better pray that prayer. You are coming with your testimony. Next time you come. Power that for you than when you are about to rise. Let the power lose your battle over your life in the name of Jesus. Aha. Uh -huh. Pray, it's pray, it's pray. Don't sleep. You can also pray for your children that is you for marriage. Power of evil protests are reacting against your children. Aha. Uh -huh. Power of evil protests are reacting against your business. Pray your business. Pray your prayer. Uh -huh. Let us lose your battle now. Aha. Uh -huh. You better pray. You better pray. You better pray. You better pray. Aha. Uh -huh. There is a woman here. Each time your husband wants to give you money to support your business, something terrible will happen to your husband. The Lord wants to deliver you and your husband to the name of Jesus. Aha. Basaka pali basutu playa da yake sefaya. Pray, 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 pray. Aha. That area where you are doing your business, that area is fighting you. Let the power lose your battle over your life in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' name we pray. I pray for you in the name of Jesus by the heart of God. Please, I want your amen to be a louder amen. We'll round up from here. Every evil protester will go, will go ahead next week. Every evil protester working against your life. Fighting your business, fighting your life, fighting your career, fighting your official position. Down fighting your ministry, fighting the church. You want fighting your marriage, fighting your womb. Fighting your finance, fighting every area of your life. You are fighting your children. I pray in the name of Jesus. I want your amen to be shouting amen. Let the Lord Almighty destroy the right over your life in the name of Jesus. Christ. Anyone hiding in your house, the one hiding under your bed, the one protesting against you from the house where you marry, the one protesting against you from your father's house, the one protesting against you from the house you are living. The one protesting against you from where you have your office or where you have your shop. The one protesting against that your property you want to market. I command in the name of Jesus Christ. Sir. Let the right over your life catch fire. 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 Let them cast fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. Anyone that is among to death, among the power, let them die. Aha, 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 aha. It is your turn now in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. Jesus' name we pray. Lift up your hands. I pray by the order of God from today. You are no longer the deposit of evil protesters in the name of Jesus. Anointing that will lose their interest over your life, let it fall upon your life. When you go to the place of your business, the heaven will go with you. When you go to your office, the heaven will go with you. In that country, you find yourself at that place you have watching. I command the name of Jesus. Every protester reacting against your life negatively, let that power die in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray.